Hey, what's up, guys? Just wanted to make a quick video, talk a little bit about what's been going on. I, I didn't get a chance to watch the uh, Rigondu Donare fight, uh, but uh, I'm going to watch it. And um, so far, they're saying it wasn't an exciting fight, that uh, Rigondu just made Nonito miss a whole bunch and just landed uh, a bunch of uh, clean shots here and there and um, you know made made Nonito look silly with all the dodge with all of his dodging so I, I want to check it out you know I want to see if Nonito just took this guy for granted although I don't know how because people I know he lost recently to someone that wasn't isn't that big of a deal so maybe he just took him for granted a little bit but anyhow um uh let's talk about mayweather and uh, guerrero you know i've been watching some videos and, and about about people's opinions about the fight and you know it is true i mean guerrero what he's moved up two two weight classes and two fights or something like that i mean you know, if it's going to be very difficult for him to win this fight. Uh, you know, when you're going up against someone who's the best and you're new, relatively new to that weight class, um, you know, you know, it's going to be an. I know why he got picked. It's it, he, he's a Mexican. It's on Cinco de Mayo. You know, that's going to add to the effect of that the big clientele. A lot of you know, a lot of business for business reasons. Um, you know. He, um, he's kind of got a tough guy attitude, um, as of recently, it seems like the, the more he's moved up, the more kind of a punk type attitude he's taken on and, um, you know, and, and I just think that that's going to play into Mayweather's hands just perfectly. Um, uh, you know, I, I really don't. I really don't see how L.S. Mayweather takes this guy for granted, or which he never does, which would be uncharacteristic of him to do. Um, you know, but it'll be entertaining. Hopefully Mayweather will put him down. Um, but he's tough, you know, he's tough, but he hasn't faced anybody like Mayweather. And, uh, you know, and, and this talk about Mayweather fighting trout I think that's a bunch of bullshit because I mean look what happened when Cotto fought trout I mean trout is bigger and you know just like with this last Kendall Holt and uh, Lamont Peterson fight you know even sometimes even if you're just a bigger man in the same weight class or even just one weight class up it makes a substantial difference in the power of your hits. I mean, you know, Kendall Holt, he lays fools out. And uh, Lamont Peterson looked bigger than him, took his best punches, and basically barely flinched. I don't think that's a testimony to how super tough Lamont Peterson is. I just think that, you know, it was just an unequal matching and uh, in terms of power and size. And... Um, but I, I know that they were, I mean, I think that fight was at 140, 147, and, and uh, I think Lamont, it was very tough for Lamont to fight at 140, whereas I think 140 is, uh, was, um, if I got my story straight, I hope, I don't think that fight was at 140, I think it was at 147, and I think Kendall Holt shouldn't go any more than 140. Um, his power diminishes and that's really his his uh his number one strength is his knockout power but um i'm uh i'm uh, getting off on a tangent here but anyways uh I'll, i didn't i was sad to see the outcome of that fight i, I liked the both of those guys but i wanted kendall Holt to win but anyway so you know mayweather's gonna mayweather's gonna take care of this guy and uh, it'll be on in the next one that's it